In this tutorial, we're going to model uh, this uh, building. Uh, this is a conceptual building made by uh, Roman Vlasov. It's an uh, artist, architect. So I thought it would be cool to show you uh, how I would uh, model this and what is the most efficient way to approach this kind of building. So, so first thing we're, we're going to make like a small module, like as you can see, this is like one single module there. And then uh, it's actually rotating around, but the, the size of, of, of this uh, element here is changing. So we're going to use the initial one to create all the other ones and then maybe change a little bit the, the angle and the fillet. So let's, let's go. So first I'm going to uh, draw a base shape. I'm just going to approximately draw the shape as I see it. So now, for example, I want to keep the same angle. I'll draw an additional line and move it down so that I have the same angle, like so. And let's go down. I will not create the, the rocks, I'll just keep it as on one single plane uh, because this is just a nature, natural like image, so in this tutorial we're not going to do this. Um, we're just going to use the base plane. Okay, so uh, let, let's go with this angle here and here. So, for example, something like this. And maybe move it down. Okay. And now I'm going to uh, I'm going to create those fillets. Now let's check what's the best. Okay, this is too small. Let's try with ten. Better. Yeah. Too much. That's really too much. Uh this is also too much. Let's try with seven better and top let's say one a little bit more two too much so 1.5 okay so this can be our initial design initial module and then we can work from there Okay, so now I'm gonna create this as a polysurface. First, I'm going to bring it back, rotate it. And I'm going to start. First, I'm going to replicate it. And I'm going to Or rotate it a bit like so so this is a, a thing that I want to show you so now if I want to change this as a, as a solid object it will be more difficult because when I type solid points on I just get these points here and here so if I move this point uh, everything will distort if I move these two points a uh, similar thing will happen. So if I want to have the control points in these areas, I would first need to extract this uh, and then have it just as line first, because when I have the line, I can easily 
uh, adjust the, the points and then I can later on change the uh, make it surface and make it in 3d so just keep this in mind so first let's uh, let's go with this initial one and I'm just going to create multiple copies of it because not uh, not all of these elements are the same size so I will create different ones with different sizes so that we can manipulate them uh, later on so uh, let's start with this one I will just uh, briefly check and see in the reference images what the difference is something like this the next one is a bigger I mean longer something like this okay and these ones are smaller um, okay so we have more or less all these elements that we need uh, and now we're going to create planar surfaces from all of them. I'm going to hide the curves for now. And I'm going to try to make this composition. Okay, so, so basically um, this will be the final one and okay so that's the idea. So as you can see uh, that's how it looks from the from this side and from this side as well. So I can see that it's like changing the heights there. So we can actually just move them up a bit. Have a little bit of um, height difference. And here we're going, we're going to bring them all in the same plane like so and now uh, once we have this um, we'd want to create like the uh, the inner parts like the walls between them or the actual if um, the actual geometry inside them so um, the way to do this is by um, the simplest way is for example to offset this say duplicate border and then I'm gonna say offset and the distance of let's say one that would be fine I'm just going to bring this back and now I want to, to get this angle right or a circle because this doesn't need to be perfectly fine okay so I think this circle will work and let's draw some reference geometry okay I'm going to delete this one crappy one and there you go so why I'm going, uh, why I'm drawing this? Because I will use this to 
to actually create uh, these inner parts. So I'm going to bring this here and I'm going to put it there. Okay. And I'm going to offset this like so. Now let's say that I want it to be exactly in that point. And here I will trim it. Okay, so the, the next thing is to actually divide these areas. So uh, I'm going to use first intersect or I can use split, it's fine. Split and I say split with all of these and I have segments of lines. So why I'm drawing this because I will use this line and this line as a sweep, the sweep command. So I'm going to select the rail, select the cross section, press enter, and there you go. We have our wall. We're going to, to do the same thing for all the other ones. Okay, so once we have all the the elements ready, we can do <coughs> offset surface and all of these. And that's our geometry. I'm going to render this now and show you the final result. Here is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.